Hey guys, uh, this is Kai, and uh, today I'm going to show you what's in a maintenance technician's toolbox. So uh, stick around. So uh, hopefully you guys can actually hear me. Uh, this is the toolbox. If you guys are watching the, uh, the channel, you know that I put this together and show you how to do that. But if you want to see what is in my toolbox at work, I, if you don't know, I am a maintenance technician. I work on hydraulics, pneumatics, uh, robotics. Uh, you name it, I'm working on it. So this is what I keep in my toolbox. It's not the end all be all and every tool that I absolutely need because my company actually provides uh, some of our power tools and what have you. But this is my basic toolbox that I cart around the factory all the time. And uh, this is what's in it. So here we go. Uh, magnets, need these, drop tool, uh, screws on, comes in handy. Put this little platform here nice little light from Arbor Freight and I'll try to uh, make links to any of the tools that I have if you guys are interested in it and uh, that way you can uh, look it up and, and see if you'd like uh, some of the tools that I actually have but I'll leave a description of the tools uh, in the description below so let's take a look and yes this thing is an absolute mess so uh Sorry about that, but that's how it rolls sometimes. So on my size, I actually have some uh, Phillips head screwdrivers, uh, other screwdrivers, um, right, what have you. Air gun. Look through here. Little power drill. Small little socket. Wrench set. Have my little maintenance log. Uh, this comes in handy whenever I run into something a little bit odd, and uh, I write it down. That way, if I have to run into it about six or seven months later, then maybe I have some notes in there. Uh, let's see, flashlights, pins, relay, multiple use screwdriver, candy, of course, for when I get sick. Let's see, up here, I use these quite often. These are uh, my protos. Um, I have a review on my uh, website, or my website, my uh, channel, and it talks about these, but you'll see that the click is kind of worn off a little bit. You can still kind of feel it, but I use this one quite often, so the click is actually worn off. And hopefully you guys can actually hear me because it's pretty loud in here, and this is uh, this factory isn't even running right now. I'm in here on a weekend, but I have these uh, on some uh, magnets. These are extremely powerful magnets that I actually pulled out of a linear cylinder off of a hydraulic press. So that's what those are. So you can't really buy those, but anyway, there's my adjustable wrenches and I've got some crowbars, smaller crowbar. And let's take a look what's in this next drawer here. Various, uh, Allen wrenches, files, a few, uh, a few wrenches that I actually use often I just throw in here on the top. Allen wrenches, extensions for my socket set, for a drill if I'm using a drill. Some of this stuff uh, really may not pertain to uh, other maintenance techs because it has to do with the job that or the factory that you're in, and like this. Let's see, uh, there you go. Pretty much it for there. Like I said, it's a mess. Let's see what's in here. My uh, flute meter. Show you what I have in here. So I got my fluke meter, ramp meter, and I have a little fluke wand, and I have these little gator clips that will just come off. That'll pop off, and the other ones will go on. So 
something like that. So yeah, that's all that's in there. Various gloves, uh, welding gloves. Uh, these gloves are for when I mess with steam hoses. Uh, these are kind of arm socks because we have glue guns that heat up to about 350 degrees, so that gets pretty hot. And I'll show you my little wrench set. I actually like this because it's in a in a bag. I can pick it up. I can carry it around. So I'll make sure I leave the, the link in the description below. This little thing comes in handy. I like it a lot. That's pretty cool. These are the little quick ratchetings, but has your standard, your millimeter on the other side. And like I said, various gloves in that drawer and a lot of gum because I'm a slob. Let's see what we got in here. So this is kind of the electrical crap. Some uh, tweakers markers, uh, ties, fuse puller, pulling fuses, let's see, I got to get another one of these, this, uh, these little things come in handy, pulling out um, O-rings and stuff, let's see what else. I'm not going through naming everything. Hopefully you guys, you guys are interested in this. You probably have an idea of what you're looking at, though. Tape. Oh, and uh, a little set here. Tweakers and strippers. And a um, little uglies manual if you're a, if you're an electrician or something that can come in handy. Magnet, little extending magnet. Little cutters. All right, let's get to the next one here. And another mess. So, let's just kind of go through it. Uh, in case I'm doing some welding, this comes in handy. Don't use these too often, torque wrenches, but I do run into it sometimes. Scraper. Let's see, another larger adjustable. Some channel locks. I like these. Come in handy quite a bit. Need all those uh, pliers, bent in. Oh, uh, this is nice. Um, it's a brass rod in case you're wanting to hit something but not damage it. So use that. Brass scraper. More channel locks. channel locks, needle nose pliers, so that box is, this this drawer is pretty much a, just a, a disaster area, but I know where stuff is and that's the main part. Next drawer, let's see, so I've got my socket set. That's a cobalt, not an expensive one, but you know, if it breaks, they'll replace it. So, see, I have a little bar for a little breaker bar, crowbar. I actually use this for my Allen wrench, so it's like another little breaker bar for my Allen wrench, crowbar.
some uh, quite large channel locks, brass hammer, three pound hammer when you really want to hit something, some pipe wrenches. Like I said, you know, this is for some of the smaller stuff. We uh, I work on steam hoses, so we have to have much larger uh, pipe wrenches uh, up to, I think we have a 48 inch pipe wrench. But that's at work. Rubber mallet. Uh, I never really use this one here. Not really. That drawer probably never go back in. And that's pretty much it for the inside of this toolbox. On the side, I have an air, air hose. My drink. On the bottom, let's see what we got here. Uh, some filter material. It's obviously just for uh, making filters. Various junk. More various screws and what have you. And then underneath. Might want a solenoid. Just some various uh, screwdrivers, some uh, some taps, a uh, strap. I don't know why I have this here. I think this is garbage at this point. And uh, a few uh, manuals and junk like that. But. Otherwise, that is it. So, yeah. So, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this. Uh, you know, if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, uh, yeah, there's my toolbox. There's my work toolbox. Pretty gross. Pretty dirty. Pretty much a disaster. And uh, I promise uh, I'll clean it. All right. Thanks for watching, you guys. Talk to you later. Hey, guys, and that is it for the video. I hope that helps, and hope you guys will like it and subscribe. Until next time, I'll see you later.